Welcome back to Malazar's Inscrutable Tower. So, um... Whoops. Well, that wasn't very smart, was it? What was I trying to say? Right, so I know now what I was missing. And what, where I need to be. Really awkward climb again. Okay. Well, I think I know what I was missing. I found somebody else who seemed to be stuck where I was. And they got a hint that I believe will let me progress. Just slowly here, so not to wake up this statue. Apparently this room here, there is something I'm missing. So let's take another look. So. Careful about that jumping. I mean, it might not be this room, I might be, uh... I've misunderstood the directions. One of these rooms, apparently. Ah, it is this room. The sword above the doorway. Not above the, the fireplace, but still. There we are. So now we have... Oh, and a sword. <laughs> Okay, so now this eye-watering key is that open this eye-watering door makes at least some fun sense. I can make forward progress. Good. You know what? We don't need to break anymore. All right, eye-watering textures. A very strange geometry. That looks like it's going to close behind me, doesn't it? I don't think I trust it. Ah, well, this is the extra room. So this has another golem limb, apparently, but... I mean, the other room... we were in... Well, it definitely looks like a golem limb there. There was supposed to be one in the... Whoa! Better be careful there. I don't think... I don't think that's the way I want to go. I feel like, uh... The thing that suggested... Golem <laughs> left arm. This has got to open, right? I was saying something and completely forgot what it was. Yeah, the thing that suggested the, the golem diagram suggested one of the arms is in here, right? But I couldn't see anything like it. We got the head, we've got one arm now. I, is that trees? It might be trees. That might be outside to the other locked door. Oh, it's the left arm. I have no idea where we assemble a golem, but... Um, we now have two parts. Uh, this looks like I can't walk over it, right? I bet I die. Ah! Good, good. Just, just you know, doing science, making sure. Is that all there is to this room? I mean, there's, there's like a passage to the other side there, right? Can't be all there is to this room. Ah, electricity. Let's try going low and low between them. Ah, definitely not all over this room. Okay, this is the other side of those. Yep. Yeah. 
Perhaps the watery door, the watery past the library begins in here, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> oh, that's good. Uh, we are in... If I... We are in a rotated version of the room. Yeah, because we, uh... Thought this was a drop down when we started, so... The pictures on the walls, sh you know, in theory I could use to orient myself, but in practice, not a hope. Ah, that's the same wall. <laughs> okay, this is, this is... This is fun. I like it. Although I'm very much at a loss as to, uh... Wait, so if we go out this way... Wait, this is how we came in, isn't it? What's the orientation the same? No, this is not how we came in. This is X W X Y. This is the forbidden ninth floor of the library. With uh, a blank piece of paper. All right. down here. Beware if thou art one with a greedy heart, for death awaits while you bear the horn of winter. I guess that's the horn of winter. I don't have a greedy heart, I have an objective. It's not the same thing. I'm thinking this is a bad idea, right? Okay, so I can pick it up. I can't take it out of the library. Alright. Well. Bollocks. But for the moment, let's... Well, hang on. Maybe, maybe we can actually dispel those fields? Let's try dispelling. Let's leave the horn there in the light. In the light. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to get it out, but um, I guess we don't need that for now. Caves with non gold mushrooms flying in, uh, in them. Caves. Diamonds, I'll take. Or silver or something, I'll take. I'll take valuables. Pretty close to that with coal, it's 3200. Oh, hey, swords? Did I, did I need a sword? So, this is the outside part with the trees, which is where the golem's leg should be, right? Still, I'm still bothered that we couldn't find the first arm where it said we should be able to find the first arm. Oh, we have water here too, so this is almost certainly going to be the uh, back entrance, entrance to the library. 3190, just 10 more. Anybody got like, you know, coin? Okay, here's the other side of that horn door. That might be another creepy statue, I don't know that I trust it.
Let's see where the path goes. Nice tree house. Can I get to it? Nope. Nobody. Well, a rope arrow would make it easy. C1 jumping would make it easy, but uh, Garrett's Thief 2 Garrett is just too decrepit, too old, and you just can't jump anymore. I mean, you could jump from here, maybe. Maybe. Oh. Now this is. Wait. Where was the horn's door? The horn's door was from the library, right, and this was... Okay. So we have another... Access. How, how would I get up there? Except, I mean, I can try the jump from up above. I guess I should. I should, guess I should try the jump from up above, even though I probably don't have the health for it. Also, look at that tower and stuff. But maybe there's a rope arrow in the tower. I don't know. Geronimo. So something stuck in the tree there. Mm, no, it's just a little, just part of the limb sticking out, part of a bit of wood. Okay. Well, I guess I need two horns to open this door, and I've only got one. Well, I don't even have that one, but I know what one of them is. Horn of Winter. You should be able to climb that. Or not. I mean, maybe it's possible to climb it. Oh, hello. What arrows? I don't mind that. I see a crack there, but I won't explore it just yet. Behind the waterfall? Nope. Treasure here near the waterfall? Yes. Can I climb this build this building at all? Probably not. I feel like these swords are stuck there. <laughs> what? What just happened? I... Do those just kill you if you walk into them? I, mean, I walked past a bunch before, but I wasn't trying particularly to avoid them. I'd love to get the water arrows again, just to test. Oh, these ones have no collision. So what the hell? I don't know what the hell. But the answer is we can't mantle up there. Alright, let's go click all that stuff again. Now a couple of water arrows. Can I get through here? 
I mean, I know they said breath potion recommended, right? But I don't have a breath potion. I apparently cannot get through there. Knock knock. Mm. Hmm. Well, I mean, can I grow more magic beans to get up there? Probably not, right? That is a very mossy statue, it might be just a statue. I can't mantle it, so you know that's suspicious, but it's not seem to behave like the bad statues. I'm really confused about the magic beans, because so far they've been good for nothing but um Hello. One more loot. Nothing but accessing one piece of loot, right? They haven't been actually valuable. Ah! What? I, I don't know what happened there. I just died. Oh. isn't just a statue. I guess it came up behind me and hit me. Yep. Fuck. So, how am I gonna calm that thing down? I guess getting away from it's not too hard, but... Garrett, fucking flame. Alright, well, I could do some terrible platforming here, I guess that's what I'm gonna have to do. God. Well, the statue seems to have calmed down, so that's some good news. Really, 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 really. If this is the intended path, I am very <laughs> annoyed because this is absolutely abysmal path for me. So I'm going to quick save it. Feels like then I can jump over there, maybe. Not like that. I would say maybe. If at first you don't succeed, then I die again. Alright. Does this help me? It is looking very much like it is an intended path because uh, this is higher ledges here and loot hidden here and a breath potion which I almost certainly need. Yep. Ugh. This is. This is. Safe scumming of the least scummy kind. It's like. Really, really awkward platforming. Okay. Oh, ho! Oh, okay. Now I know where else the magic beans are useful. Answer the second one of my questions. What? Well, I'm going to say it's come that because uh, that should grow and not waste our very limited supply of water arrows. Maybe it always takes two there? The other one only took one. Try, try it once more.
Yeah, okay, it's just, just the radius is not enough for, for it to be reliable. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair enough, whatever. Aha! There's a golem flag. Okay. Good news, we have a gross assortment of body parts. Still missing some. <laughs> I feel like we ought to have one more by now. Statue can hear us here. That's um. I see. <laughs> I guess I was just supposed to throw it. Instead, I attacked it till the door broke, and that kind of broke the scripting. Mm. Never mind. The lingering spiritual energy of the forest people saturates this glade of ruins. The walls between worlds are thin here. No wonder Malazar transmuted it into a power focus for the tower. He says he finds it a relaxing place, but it fills me with great unease knowing what happened here so long ago. Alright, about to do a big swim. I'm going to make a proper save and get my breath potion ready. I I certainly do not have the health to do much swimming. Uh, much drowning. That is. So down we go. I'm guessing there isn't going to be anywhere to stop and uh, get air, but I'm also guessing. There's not going to be a confusing mess. Oh, okay, it's not actually that long. Breath potion was not needed, but that's fine. Here we are. That's not a useful way to go. Hello, we have... Is that the Rune of Awakening? I mean... Where's the instructions, right? Let's look at the instructions. The runic power word for awaken. Well, that wouldn't be here. This is S. This is R or S. Can we capture that with black parchment? We can indeed. Okay. Word of awakening. I do not understand why the word of awakening is in R S. That makes no sense. But fair enough, we have the words, we have three bits of golem. We're missing one bit of golem. Well, I mean, we're technically missing two bits of golem, right? Look at the diagram. We're missing this one. No, we're missing this one, which is supposed to be in here somewhere and I have not seen it. We're missing this leg, which is not indicated in this diagram. But maybe there is an assembly place we haven't found yet where that leg it exists already. The uh, coal place, right? Constructing a coal environment. I don't know. I don't even know, I mean... I have absolutely not the faintest idea how any of this relates to... Um, to getting the to the balcony to get the crystal, right? This is the reason we came here. We're just... We are just doing things because they... They... Show up in our face as things that we can do. Alright, so... We could go... Through the teleporters, which would go to the other parts of the library. Or I can go back through here. I'm gonna try getting back through here. See if I can find a way to open the locked door, right? The locked door that's the other side of the hall of creepy urns. Surely there's a key. 
Probably somewhere there is a key for that door. Oh, maybe this would have been possible too. No, I didn't take damage, so I didn't need to reload. Yes, maybe you could have walked around here as well. Not really, no. Okay, so up. There's, there's a couple of things unresolved here, right? First is. Ah, uh, the statue's no longer on its. First is this door. Okay, we need the two horns to open this door, this door, I assume, right? One of which we found in the library, but you can't seem to find a way to get it out to the library. Let's make a note. Uh, we found the long way around, we got to the ninth floor. Kind of got on limbs. Don't know where the golem right arm is. What about the golem left leg? No. I'm assuming we assemble the golem in that chamber. Whether we enter from this side or from the far side. Right, we saw. Off the library was another... Was it the library? I don't remember. Probably. But either way, somewhere we saw another twin horn door. And uh, it looked significant, and I'm sure it is significant. Are you supposed to get up here? Don't know. It feels taunting me. I'm going to assume that both of those horn doors, that the horn doors we found, is not just the other side of this. Both of them probably lead into the the golem assembly chamber, right? That's that's my guess, or something like that. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit cheesy here and just see if I can strafe jump this <sighs> yep <laughs> that's a strafe jump Hall of Ashen Souls key alright that answers my other question oh how do we unlock this door so we have an easy way back that's good I guess it was R for rune, right? But you'd have runes for almost everything. You wouldn't file them all under rune, right? Maybe he's only got the one. So what now? I guess I need to go back. I don't remember how. To the forbidden floor of the library. Which is I guess is how I got here. So we go back through the through the passageway. Or oh, you heard nothing, statue lady. Maybe maybe the statue lady actually came up here and got me while I was trying to mount up there, or maybe I just hit the sword and died because it might be still. It's possible these swords still have the uh, impact thingy me on them. Okay. 
axe thing in me. What do I mean? The, the, the stimulus. Like, slash stimulus or something. Because I know that, like, in, uh, in my map, I had a, like, a hammer sitting in the library, just resting against something. Um, like, as if somebody put, just put it down, right? And one player... One player accidentally, like, was just climbing down from on top of a bookshelf and fell. Um... Oh, wow. And fell onto the hammer, and that caused him enough damage to kill him. So, we can't go out that way, right? And we can't go out that way, because of death. But what we can do... Is maybe climb through here. Or, hmm, maybe we can lean forward and drop it. Okay, we can drop that to the bottom floor. Alright, let's... I feel like going through here is not the quickest way back. I feel like that's the most confusing way back. I feel like it's actually going to be quicker to run through the caves, do the swim, teleport from the RST and just like do that. Because navigating that uh, extra room is extremely confusing. Made, uh, made way more confusing by the fact that the same text is on every single surface, so... And the pictures are not... Do not give me an immediately obvious sense of the orientation. Let's just swim. I appreciate the breath potion, even though it's not technically needed. I guess it would have been easy to miss as well. It's kind of... Oh no, I guess it was... It was platforming we did to get in there. We would have... Had to not really look around at all to miss it. Okay, so that'll do. Where are we? We are at TV. Okay. So we just go back through again and we get to the wrong side now of. Okay, thank you. So we just need to get all the way to ABC to get the horn. Winter. That's one of what definitely looks like two horns that we need, and I haven't, you know, no comprehension. Hey, where is this guy? Ah, oh, right, yeah. I've no comprehension where the other horn might be, but. Back to MN. This one on the lower floors, the transportation is pretty straightforward. Okay. So now what? Where was the, um... Where even was the other side of that horn door? Should I go back through the swim? I can't go, I can't go swimming again. Uh... I don't know, I don't know where, I don't know where I'm going. Not for the first time. Probably not for the last time. It wasn't off here, was it? Now that's leads to extra room, and that is thing. Yeah. Okay.
So I don't remember where I'm going. Can I get back to the water room easily? To take yet another look. Let's head back up here because I've kind of forgotten this, this part of the map. Like the, the collision on this statue has been shrunk, so there's not enough room to actually even get the, sl the one step of the run that you need. Or well, that you sometimes need. Wait, that's not. No, this leads, this, this leads to the water room, okay. Hey, statue lady. Alright, so we're at water room. <laughs> was water room that led to the horn room. I was gonna say the lower level, but I mean it might be the upper level, like what what's upstairs and downstairs in here, who knows? There isn't like a golem a bit of golem limb hanging in there, so why the hell is there a bit of golem limb? That's the serpent passage. And this is Okay, so this is one horn door, right? Can I Blow the horn. Apparently I can, okay. Alright, that is the other golem arm. Okay, I was misled by the two horns above the door to think I needed two horns. And this is called the Horn of Winter, right? I was thinking, okay, it's the Horn of Winter and the Horn of Summer, that makes sense, but... Apparently not. I'm a little disappointed that they didn't go to the trouble of, like, faking out this room for uh, gravity changes. So you just walk up the wall. That would have been... That would have been amazingly cool use of, of teleportation. But it would be hard, I admit. It would have been incredibly cool. And, like, not overly difficult to do. Okay, so what that tells me is I do need to go back now through the uh, to sword room. Sword room is easy to get to. Now, let's go through the creepy whispering urns room. All right, we have all the golem pieces. Just go quietly here. I don't see anything in dark areas now because the light has shifted in the room and it's just like... My monitor is not bright enough. And so I'm just seeing glare. And all the smudges because my monitor is not very clean. Because these plastic coated monitors are difficult to clean. Okay, I have a feeling the uh, statue here might. <laughs> might object to the sound, but let's find out. Nope, it's not a suspicious sound to them. Okay, it's just, it's just a doorbell. I can't see a damn thing in this pit flat. Okay, there's some light. I feel like it's a good place for a, a good save, right? Oh, I see, they've got, they've got black, black fog here to make it harder to see any distance. Somewhere cold, huh? To assemble the golem. Why do I want to assemble the golem? I don't know, but this looks like a cold place. See, he would, that would be a good place for uh, you first step into the snow and kind of goes. Because it's cold. Golem assembly chamber! Very good. What's 
I don't know what goes in there. Uh, that looks like a fully assembled golem, who is probably not going to be happy to see me. That's a long way down. What have we got over this side? Big door with a picture of a golem's head. I guess it's going to need golem strength to open it. Big chunky chain. Alright, so we've finally... Oop. Well, that's the fog rendering for you. Um. <laughs> that's the other fog zone. New dark special. What goes in there? Oh, the word of awakening, right? So we... Now we can't open that? Maybe... Seven staff? No. Nope. Hmm. Let's see. What does the what does the manual say? I mean, we could put glue in there, right? Just just for gluing the golem together. Where's that golem manual? Fused in a spirit forge. Yeah. Dense heat, yeah. Oh, maybe we just put the body parts in there. Right. No. So we don't actually go in and, like, assemble it manually. The Spirit Forge does it for us. Let's try that. Yep. Throw the right leg in. Put your right leg out. You put your right arm in. And it magic's all about. Is that word of awakening? Somewhere here, there we are. Oh, can we say it? Can't put it in there. Ah, now it's all fused. Okay. So now I can awaken it. Hello, be my servant. They are friendly. I don't have any places to escape to. Because they are unfriendly. Right, they pull on the chains. So I need both of them. Just hold the door for me, I'm going to be back soon. Oh, that's fine too. Oh wow, this place is... oh shit. Big and probably hazardous. Nice monsters, just what I need. Look alert. It did look a little suspicious, I admit. Let's do a quick save here, so if I fuck up again, I can quick load. Well, that's not gonna work. So, what do we do about these guys? Not that. Oh god, am I supposed to learn the bits that this this trial and error the bits that fall down or what?
Oh, it's a different different color. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's that that deals with them. Fair enough. It was it was it was it looks different. All right, that was not as hard as I thought. I thought it was. I thought it was indistinguishable. Let's see if it's the same is true over here. The bit that fell down is a different color. Yeah. So I could have come this way. Which takes me nowhere. Loot. There are more of those things, of course. That's something to be aware of. So there's a front door, but I guess I'm not going to get in here. Yeah, it's not going to open for me. Fire arrow, one. Alright, I guess that will be good against one. Brackets, one. East. Open the window. Well, actually, let's... Look around the side, right? In case there's anything there. There isn't anything there. Foolish, foolish guy. Even imagine the market. Healing potion, yes please, thank you. I needed that. That's another one, another collapsing one, right? Oh, the height was not so much, that it's wrong. Hello, what's... Oh, it's just a flinder. <laughs> so, I'm guessing I'm going to need the fire arrow for him, right? Let's try it. Very dramatic, man. Very, very dramatic, but okay, it works. <laughs> you see, even on a bit of collapsing wood there, or is that just, that's just a shadow? Careful of the wood, there's another rotten bit. Oh, we have a ladder to take us up. Anti icicles. Stuck here. Oh, fuck. Help. I guess the fire arrow we used on the other one alerted him badly, so maybe we should not have fire arrowed that guy. You know, maybe that was a bad call, but uh... we're alive still, so this guy's gonna calm down soon and get back outside, I hope. He's definitely unhappy. So we'll just wait for him to chill a bit. Sounds like the coast might be clear. <laughs> nope, 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 nope. Still highly alerted. I was hoping you close the door, right? Because if we could close the door, then we can move around in this room with relative freedom. But, uh, 
he is going to be obnoxious like that. And it's going to be awkward. Oh, this tiny, tiny thin stuff. He's still searching and still angry, that's for sure. He's not fully calm, I don't think. <laughs> Fuck, he's on me again. Well, this is awkward, isn't it? Three beasts retextured. Why don't you flee? Run to your friends for help. This is super awkward. It's just like he's so much on edge. I might even have to reload back to uh God, I'm just imagining the uh, motion capture actor doing these. Uh, you can't get me. This is a this is a terrible stalemate. I don't have anything to get rid of him, and I mean. Well, actually, maybe I do. Is that hurting him or is he or is he just expressing frustration at being unable to reach me? A little hard to tell. I don't think it's hurting him. He doesn't recognize me as the owner of the thing of winter. I mean I've still got this, right? Alright, um Maybe I don't need the invisibility potion. Are we... We're back at the start. Well, um... We have reached the balcony. It should be momentous, but I was just trying to escape from the, the beast, and I want to still want to explore that room. So I need to wait for him to calm down. Like, yes, we need to go there. And I will, very soon. Oh. I guess we don't need to wait for the beast to calm down. Don't tell me this takes me back to the fucking kitchen! Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Um, I don't know, I, where do we even go? We need to go... I know where we need to go. I could reload, and I'm temp very tempted to reload. But it isn't that far. We only have the one... Beast to get past. I wish I had another fire arrow. Okay, 
think I'll ease. I wish I had another fire arrow. I feel like the... No, that's not collapsible. I feel like... Well, that collapsed there, right? I don't know. Give me only one fire arrow to deal with two of these guys, or I guess technically four. I feel like one of them was supposed to somehow be led into another falling trap, maybe. And I was supposed to save the fire arrow for the fourth one, I'm not sure. Or maybe I'm just supposed to be really stealthy in a brightly lit... Oh. Ouch. Eh. Three hit points, two hit points, what's the difference, right? Either way, one hit from that big guy is gonna be the death of me. Yeah, I kind of feel like maybe we were expected to, uh... Leave that guy over there, shall we say. Yeah, alright. I didn't, I didn't even notice that was a collapsible. Okay, where was my last... Was this the save? Four? Yeah, okay, let's do it. So, I know what to do with these guys now. So, hey guys. Whoops. Oh, I didn't create my, my jump. Wrong save. Let's go back here. Try this whole sequence again. So these guys on the bottom, these two, we can... We can get to fall on these. Right. So they are not a problem. We've got some loot to pick up now. Then the next one up, we do the same. Right, we lead him into arms way. Here's the fire arrow that we need for the top guy. Well, seeing as I discovered just before, just a minute ago, where the next collapsing section was, uh, by accident, but now I know where it is, I'm quite certain that that is the approach I'm supposed to be taking here. Uh, okay. Worst thing in, uh, Default design is ladders at an angle. They just do not work properly at an angle. They're fucked at an angle. Never put ladders at an angle. Hey, dude. Which is the collapsing one? That's the collapsing one. Oh, there's two. Fuck. Well, I mean, he's kind of okay there, I guess. That guy I'm gonna need to buy an arrow for. So maybe this guy will in searching is gonna walk onto that thing and fall down. We can only hope. I don't know, maybe you see me and is trying to get to me, I don't know. Oh there he goes. Alright, you know what I'm gonna do? So I guess I didn't encounter this guy before because he must have done that fallen down there after I fire arrowed that first guy. Let's get up here and quickly fire arrow this guy. Come on. Alright, job done. As long as he's not blocking us from getting through. Good. Alright. Now we can kind of do things as expected. Have a big shower, wash all the uh, snow off. Turn the lights off. Take the gold. Leave the skull. Take the silver fire poker. Warm our hands by the fire. So nice. Take the funky mask. Like, why don't the golems have funky faces like that? That would be cool. 
climb up the ladder to the other bookshelves and the other piece of candle. So the Lugol would have been very easy to get there. That's what I'm uh, inferring from all this. Oh, hello. I could have turned some lights off here, which would have made it slightly easier to escape that guy. And another book to read for some more lore. Valuable specs. Okay, what do we got? I have bound an ifrit. It took most of my strength to stabilize and tether it to this plane, but it is done. Soon I shall have its power distilled into my own power crystal. Then I shall command all the power of the play of fire. The witless fools of the Major's Council will beg for death before I grant them merciful incineration. But first I need supplies. Venturing into the city is a risky venture, but one I must take. Vengeance will be mine. I have set Michael a spell of entropy to decipher while I make the journey. The boy is slow, and I doubt he will have any luck with it. But I must be patient with him. Spell of entropy to decipher. Hmm. Why didn't you send Michael into the town for supplies, you fool? Alright, well, I'm just, I think we're just about near the end now, but uh, let's make a save. We've got past all the nice beasts we have. So we can't get back in here, right? We know that now. Go up these stairs to the top. <laughs> I guess that was the teleport there, because it's kind of physics glitched. Here we are. On the balcony, oh hello. That's where we came in. Four thousand and sixty-five loot. I bet there's a whole bunch more. But um, one problem is they still don't know how we're going to get back out again. I mean, we could jump down from here, right? Well, although maybe, maybe that's the answer. Maybe we can climb down there. I guess that's how we get out. Malazar's power crystal. The sun is about to go down. Job done, leave the tower once you have what you came for. I mean, convenient fire escape, I suppose. Is it that easy? He doesn't have any safeties. It's a very long rope. I guess. I guess we're done. As we walk off into the setting sun. Pretty nice skybox. Alright, well, two hours, twenty two minutes plus uh, some reloading. So just over three hours elapsed time. 4,065 out of 4,850, so there's a bunch more loot hidden around in places I never found, but, um... Fair enough, that's definitely better than my usual average percentage, so I guess the loot was easy to find here. Others killed one, yes. Not innocent. Damage up 50. I guess it's probably counting all the, um... I guess that's just the one fire arrow, is it? Maybe. Damage taken 9, healing taken 8. Yes, expert potions only heal 4. Be I, it's been a long time since I've played regularly on expert, so, um... I didn't remember. So generally, generally do hard on fan missions when I'm recording them, so that uh, I have in extremis the option of killing guards and stuff to deal with them. Not that it's relevant on this mission at whatsoever. Alright, that was Malazar's inscrutable tower, and uh, it was certainly a lot, a lot less scrutable than it appears from the outside. But we got his, his gem of his power crystal, which means 
you know, it would probably be foolish for Garrett to actually sell that instead of claiming all the power of the planes of fire for himself or something or something. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching and uh, I'll see you next time, whenever that is, for the next mission, whatever that is. Have a good night.